If you were stranded on an island forever, like I mean forever, and you had to choose one artist to listen to for the rest of your life, which artist would it be and who would you drop? Drake, Kendrick, or J. Cole? Welcome back to another episode of Distracted. We are your hosts. I am Gugs. I am Jag, a.k.a. Santos. And you know what? There's one thing I thought was hilarious this week. Did you see this viral clip going around? Family Feud. Steve Harvey asks, who are the greatest rappers of all time? Did you see this? (laughs) No. Who the fuck would answer this question on fucking Family Feud? That's what I was surprised. Like, as soon as I saw the clip, I clicked on it right away. I'm like, oh, I'm probably going to know all the answers. Like, this is right up my alley. I thought I would guess them in order and everything. But I'm glad you didn't see it. Because what I want to do, I want to play this game right here, right now, using the same answers. So Distracted brings to you... Family Feud! (laughs) 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 Wrong theme. Whatever song that was. Whatever that was, yeah. I guess that's copyright. We can't use... Yeah. (laughs) That's one way to get around copyrights. All right. All right. Let me get the answers ready here. All right. So I'm going to ask you. There are eight answers voted upon by I don't know who, but name the greatest rapper of all time. What the fuck? Yeah, the greatest rapper of all time. Just one? No, no, there's eight. There's, oh, there's eight. Okay. Yeah, there's, okay. so the top eight okay. as voted upon. The greatest rapper of all time. Okay, so uh, I'll see Pac's got to be on there. Let me let me see. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, thank God. Number, I was like, yo. Number two all time is Tupac. Two? Yeah, number two. Okay, um, Biggie. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. All right. All right. Number six. Number Big six? E- yes. Notorious B.I.G. was number six. Oh, my God. Um, okay. So, we got Pac. We got Biggie. Um, uh, Kendrick? Uh, Kendrick did not make the list. Given he all the attention the he's getting, he did not make the Holy list. Holy shit. Wow. Um... Snoop Dogg? Ding, ding, ding. Oh! Wow. Three, baby. You, bro, the number one answer was Snoop Dogg. Uh, I don't know about that. I mean, he's up there, but come on. Number one? Yes, he was voted number wow. one on this list. Whew. That's what? Uh, it's four? I got No, so three I got so far. You named three so far. There's five more to go, and I'm confused as shit. Uh, I don't know. Let's say uh, Drake. Uh, yeah, I knew that was in um, Cole. Come on, Cole's got to be on there. Uh, what the fuck? Um, bro, you named Drake, Kendrick, and Cole. The big three. Drake, none of them Greatest were on rappers there. of all time. But still, think, the big three, you'd think, think they could make the right cut. Now, who's, who's top five dead or alive that people always talk about? Uh, or top five alive, even. Uh, fuck. I don't know, man. I, um, shit. Um, pop, 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 pop. Who, who the fuck is alive? And um, Eminem. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, you had Eminem, Eminem is it. number three on okay, the list. Okay, okay. All right. And just so you know, so, so far you guessed Snoop Dogg right at number one. He had 25 votes. Tupac at number two had 20 votes. Eminem has 16 votes at number three. You also guessed B.I.G. at number six. He had five votes. Oh, shit. Um... This list seems like it's heading more of like an old school. So, I don't know, Dr. Yeah, Dre? Greatest rapper of all time. Yeah, but like it's stri- sticking to old school. Uh, Dr. Dre? Ding, ding, ding. Dre oh, is shit. actually on there. Yeah. Wow. Dre Te- is- it, should, it should say Dr. Dre asterisk because Dre of Ice Cube. Dre is number four. And fucking Jay Z Gre- should get a credit. Greatest rapper. Okay, Jay Z. <laughs> ding ding ding! <laughs> I was wondering, what's what oh, taking you so long? Oh my god! Jay Z comes in at number eight with how many three we, votes. How many do we have left? So you got Snoop, Pac, M. Dre, Biggie, and Jay Z. There's two spots left: the number five spot and the number seven spot. Uh, Nas. 
Eh. Wow. Ice Cube? Eh. Holy shit. If, I, if we were doing the hangman thing, I would have been dead. Yeah, by you would have been dead. Chad, Holy just, shit. You want me to tell you the answer or you want to uh, give it another shot? I'll give one last one and then and then we'll... Oh, fuck. What could it be? Okay, so it's... So it's uh, is it obvious? Am I just like not thinking this through? I I wouldn't say that. Uh, fuck. Okay, so we have... Uh, I said Ice Cube. I said all these guys. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. All right, I'll tell you. Since you struck out a long time ago, really. Yeah, I did. All right. So going from the top, I may as well just say them all in order. Okay. So it was Snoop with 25 bulls. Then Pac with 20. Eminem with 16. Dre with 9. And then number 5, which you did not get, was... LL Cool J oh, with shit. five bolts. Doing it and doing and it then, and doing it. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> and then number six, Notorious B.I.G. You okay, got yeah, also yeah. five bolts. And then the next one you did not get was 50 Cent. Oh, fuck. 50 had three bolts. And then to round off the list was Jay-Z with three. How did I forget 50? But I mean, is it? No, I, that's, would, a, that's a weird ass list. Yeah, like I was gonna say, would you really call Fifty greatest? Of, like, there's so many other guys that that's should be really, up there. Dr. Dre as the greatest rapper. Yeah, he should have never even been on that list. Rapper. That's what I said during the thing. I was like, he should have an asterisk because, like, uh, Jay Z wrote what was it next? Uh, Still Dre. Bro, you should have seen them. Fucking Ice Cube like, wrote the NWA shit. Like, that's what I'm saying. When you when you watch the clip, it's hilarious because everyone's like baffled. Like, what the hell is going on? Shit. Like, they obviously they guess. They, they did guess like Kendrick pretty early. Yeah. They guessed like Jay Z. <laughs> and then when Jay Z shows up last on the list, you're like, what? It was, it was pretty wow. hilarious. That's, I can't believe that's Snoop crazy. was crazy. How's think, Snoop number one? I think that just goes to show like popularity. People are probably just saying who they know. They obviously didn't ask hip hop heads or anything yeah, like that. They went to the streets. They usually just go to the streets and find random people. Yeah, but not those type of streets. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like just regular, like fucking Joe Schmoes. Oh man! Yeah. Shit, that's uh, that's that's, that's crazy, disheartening, yeah. man. But that, like I said, it goes to show how popular Snoop is. Snoop is voted number one. Wow, Snoop D O double G, greatest rapper of all time, I according to Family Feud. That, like, given based on, they're probably asking like, you know, people who don't know anything about hip hop. I thought you would at least be like, oh, Eminem, and Eminem would be number one or something. Yeah, I mean, shit. I think because Snoop Dogg just puts himself out there so much. Yeah, but everyone he's, knows. Him. He's a new judge on uh, The Voice. Right, yeah, so I mean, he's he's dipping his hand in a lot of fucking pots right now. I saw I saw a headline. He's gonna be a part of the Olympics too. Yes, yeah, he ran with a torch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's the most athletic fucking pothead I've ever seen in my life. It's, like it's this guy crazy, burns man. like no tomorrow, and like he's running marathons, well, not marathons, but he's running like a lot. Fuck, man, the mountain he smokes. I don't know how he's even running any laps. Look, look at how he reinvented his image, like from oh, it's when crazy. he first came it's out. Crazy. Yeah. We're talking about wow. from murder is the case to carrying the torch at the Olympics, right? Yeah, man, that's that's some next level shit. But uh, wow, okay, I I am gonna go watch this clip after this now because that's intriguing. Yeah, um, and, and speaking of Eminem, yeah. Eminem actually made headlines yeah, too. Eminem. Yeah, his his new album. We talked about it. The Death of Slim Shady Coup de Gras. Yeah, it debuted at number one. Yeah, what? yeah, he actually knocked off Taylor Swift. That's Apparently, crazy. There, she she was going for some record like most consecutive weeks at number one and he Boom. ruined that kill shot. <laughs> Fuck, that's crazy, man. Good on him. Yeah, it's great to see him like reliving it all up and going from amazing heights of stardom to sort of fall. I, I think it's safe to say he fell off for a bit. Um, I think it's fair, but going to that to back to number one, that's huge. Yeah, I know. At this age too, he's he's like what fifty or something 50, like that. He, he's he's up there, man. He is up there, and and good on him. You know what I mean? Good on him. And fuck, that's crazy. Yeah, his album got. I got. I feel like it got like universal praise. Everyone was really happy with it. Yeah. Oh, I haven't heard one bad thing about it. Um, fuck it. Like I, if I wish this isn't the death of Slim Shady because if he has shit like this, I would love to hear another one from him. But uh, going on. With the uh, with the theory or the the theme of music, uh, DJ Mustard is finally dropping this Friday. Yeah, yeah, finally. So track get, list is out. Yeah, capitalizing off the the Kendrick all the exposure. Yeah, from the you Kendrick have to. Song, yeah. Um, apparently, no YG. Yeah, no YG or Kendrick listed what? as a feature. That's crazy, man. I mean, 
I wonder though if he. So if you watch the Not Like Us video in the starting, there's a snippet of apparently his next track that's supposed to drop. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. it sounds very similar to Not Like Us, the way he raps in it, like that. He's. It looks like he's trying to do more of that club banger, like that party type song. I wonder if uh, Mustard made that beat as well, oh. and just not saying anything right now, because it's it's a pretty sick song, and I think that would be a huge hit for Mustard to get two oh, yeah. number two. Uh, and anything Kendrick touches. Is for now, yeah, gonna be dude. Huge, I, right? So I didn't even know this, but there's a Kendrick game, a Not Like Us video game. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. I yeah. saw this today. I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Like you just swing and you yeah, try to kill like, the owl. Wop, wop, wop. Yeah, and, I'm, and then now there's a Family Matters game. Oh, there is. Yeah. yeah. So the uh, the premise of the game is you got to feed Kendrick Grammys in his mouth. <laughs> he, he his head moves around and you got to try to get like the fucking the Grammy in his mouth. It's crazy. But th- what's crazy about that is. They remade the songs into like the like the the sixty four bit. Oh types. yeah, yeah, and So yeah, they yeah. sound super oh, dope that's now. Dope. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's actually, crazy. That's, that's the part that's dope. Cool. Um, so yeah, so that should be good. That's, that's yeah. Exciting. The, I'm looking forward. There's a song with Schoolboy Q and Vince Staples. Ooh, I think School that should be good. Schoolboy Q. Yeah, making rounds. And there's not also, in Canada uh, though. Yeah. So apparently, Schoolboy Q didn't get into Canada. Did not get into Canada. And and look who it is. Everybody points the finger at Drake and says uh, Drake's the one that didn't let him in. But, but I mean, go on, go on. No, 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 no. You go. You go. I was gonna say like, I mean, Drake has pull. But what do you think Drake would really not let Schoolboy in? Like that's that's a pretty big. Okay, so, so my only thing is, okay, if we're not behind it, and Drake goes and starts trolling, he he takes a picture. Yeah. Fuck. Takes a picture with a free Ao shirt on. And that's because Yeo did an interview recently where he said, hey, you know, people better watch out. Drake's in Canada. You might not be able to get into Canada anymore. You might not be able to get the bag, that whole thing, right? So he's like, things could get messy. And then if Drake didn't do it, why is he out here trolling? I think he likes to take advantage of every situation. Is he trying to claim like he was behind it? I think think he loves to have his name in headlines. And I think he runs with that. So... I think I think he's in the state right now where no matter what happens, he'll still take the fault. So he's going to capitalize on the bullshit anyways. Like, I don't know if you heard about this, though. I came across, apparently, Drake has banned Not Like Us to be played in Houston because now he lives in Houston. And I'm like, dude, like, just because maybe one club didn't play the fucking song doesn't mean that Drake got it banned every single fucking place. Yeah, to say that he banned it in all of Houston... Remember he said in the hard part six, he's like, uh, oh, you got something I could dance to. He was talking about not like us. Yeah. Right? He's like, oh, it sounds good. Whatever he said. But as far as the trolling thing goes, I don't know. The first thing that pops into my head is why are you trolling like a bitch? Ain't you tired? Yeah, fuck, man. Still like, dude, he just he loves to double down. He loves to double down and he doesn't give a fuck. Like he's I don't know, man. He's always he's always in headlines and. He's in headlines this week too because he's dropping a new song. Yes, yes, he is with Gordo. Uh, it's called Sideways. We mentioned it last week. Thought it might drop, didn't drop, but it's uh, is actually said to be dropping this Friday. I heard a snippet of uh, of it online at a, a festival or some shit, and I, it's hard to say if it's gonna be great or not because for one, you hear it through somebody's like phone. Yeah. You don't get the real, the bass line. All that. And I think with like house and all that shit, you need like, you got to hear the bass. You got to feel it. You got to. I, I do that with everything. Like if I'm just going to hear it through my phone for the first time, I don't want to hear it. Unless I'm like in my car, I Fair got enough. headphones or something. Because it, cause it skews it. Like, it, it. It ruins that experience yeah, when you do yeah, want yeah. to listen to it. I'm actually guilty though. I, I don't have patience to wait. I can't. If I see a drop, I'm sitting there like this. Like for example, when Family Matters and all that shit dropped, I was sitting in Ikea. Yeah, like, that, like, that yeah, was you different. You know what I mean? Like I like I can't wait. I don't have it in me, man. I I don't have the patience. I need to know then and there of what's going on. That that was yeah. There's certain times. That's an exception. You, you make I'll the let exception. that slide. Exactly. Um, Fifty Cent and Drake sticking to the Drake topic. Fifty Cent oh, came yeah. down and he was trolling. But see, he was in Toronto and he was saying, uh, you know, all you all you guys uh, kicked Rick Ross's ass, and I'm like, dude. It wasn't fucking Toronto. It was fucking Vancouver, man. Get his shit straight, dog. Everyone, like, 
everyone just groups Canada as it's one. Toronto. It's just one big Toronto. It's just, it's like we're, Toronto we're just Canada. North Toronto, East Toronto, South Toronto, and fucking. You know, actually, no. Everybody knows Toronto, and everybody knows Montreal, but nobody knows anything else. Everybody just thinks, ah, fuck, it's just one big place. Bullshit. We had one thing going for us, and 50 Cent took it away. <laughs> but um, I feel like that's been happening a lot because of this uh, Drake Kendrick beef. All of a sudden, you see so many comments about like, "Oh, Canada soft, Canada this, fuck Canada." Yeah. Like, it became very. That's one thing I really don't like that came from the beef. Is like, I don't know, maybe it's a lot of just stupid commenters and fans and yeah. stuff too. But you know, it's still. What can you do? Yeah. Um, still, actually, you know what? Completely random. We're talking about music dropping and all that shit. I came across this guy named uh, Hanu Mankind, and he made the song Big Dogs. And dude, like, I sent it to you like before this, and holy shit, the song's like fucking sick. This guy's from India. Uh, he's signed to Def Jam India, and like, fuck, it's a pretty big banger of a song, man. Like, I I fuck with Bro, it. Bro, yeah, it, it's a banger. The I was video surprised. Was crazy too. That is not what I expected. Like, when you sent it to me and you said, "Oh, this guy's from India." I just I assumed he, he was gonna be rapping, not yeah, like, in English. Like sort of, yeah, I know exactly where you're going <laughs> or, with this. Or with a, I know what you're doing without <laughs> actually saying it. I know what you're trying to say. I get it. But yeah, I felt the same way when I saw India flashing. I was like, oh fuck, man, this is another one. Of and those. the video's dope it's too. Crazy. Like, yeah, he's in, like it, that dome, motorcycles, cars around him. He's in one of them, going around in like circles uh, in that in that dome. And I was like, shit, this this is pretty dope. Uh, check it out. It's, it's it's a pretty solid song um, Talking about India But not really But I guess maybe Talking about faraway places I actually Want to stop Talking about the news Unless you got something else You want to mention Nah Yeah I think we're good Not much happening anyways Exactly But I do want to You know you started off Questioning me On Family Feud And all that shit So I want to wrap Today's episode up With a little question Of my own Okay, so now I'm going to turn this laptop so you don't see what I've written down here. And uh, here we go. Bringing to you live is a question for Gugs. So, if you were stranded on an island forever, like I mean forever, and you had to choose one artist to listen to for the rest of your life, which artist would it be and who would you drop? Drake, Kendrick, or J. Cole. So I could keep two. No, no, no. You have to choose one artist. You have to drop two. Oh. Of you can choose one and you got to drop two. Which so, two do you drop? So Essentially, no you got to right pick answer. one. If I had to pick just one. For the rest one. of your life, only music you can ever hear. You know, imagine there's a ship. They dropped off this fucking, you know, uh, there's a there's a wreck, and from the wreckage, there's an MP3 player. For some of you who don't know what the fuck that is, that used to be a device that held all of your music in one spot, not on your phone. And there's a pair of headphones with it, wired headphones, and only one artist's songs didn't get corrupted on that fucking MP3 player. And it's the only ones you can hear. Which one would it be? Oh man, that's tough. Really tough. I feel like if I want to listen to more, <coughs> hmm, more melodic stuff, I'd probably go with Drake. But if I want to listen to like more rapidy, deeper stuff, rapidy, rapidy rap. You want to hear rapidy rap? Maybe he should have been one of the guys to answer on the Family Feud. I feel like in the middle, and I always related more to Jake Hole. Okay. When I listen to his music, yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with J Cole. Wow, he picks J Cole to be the only artist to ever listen to in history until the day he dies, until the day he takes his last breath on this island. Cole will be the only person he listens to. Yeah, wow. he has a pretty big catalog. Well, I guess all three of them do. Uh, I think, yeah, man. Okay. I, th- I think I'd go with Cole. All right. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. You hear to hear. He picks J. Cole. Stranded on an island, he only wants to hear J. Cole for the rest of his life. Now, 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 I'm going to throw a wrench in this bitch. Now, you have a chance to save yourself and turn back to humanity. But, 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 you have to get rid of all three 
and listen to only Soldier Boy crank that on repeat forever, would you want to still be saved? Like, I mean, like, you wake up, soldier. Sleep, soldier. Washroom, soldier. Drive, soldier. Work, soldier. Work out, soldier. Go on dates, soldier. Your kid's being born, soldier. You're fucking at a funeral, soldier boy. Like, crank that. No matter what you do, all you can ever listen to for the rest of your life. We're on this podcast. You only get to listen to soldier on your headphones. You only have to talk like that. Like, would you save yourself? Oh, fuck. That's a wrench. So I, I get to be home and you get, do, you get to return I live to my day to day life. Return to civ- civilian life. You get to be home. You get to do everything you want to do. You live your life just like right now. You're home. You're back. But till you take your last breath, no more Pock, no more Cole, no more Drake, no new songs. Like you will never hear another song except for Crank That over and over on repeat. Your cell phone rings. You <laughs> like, I mean, anything you do, do you save yourself but have to listen to that, or do you just sit peacefully on an island listening to Cole for the rest of your life? Shit, I guess, I guess, uh, Soldier Boy up in this hole, man. Oh yeah, I, I mean, gotta get home. Shit. I gotta get home. <laughs> I I'm don't sorry, know I'm though, sorry, man. Cole. Imagine like going to a club and all you hear is fucking Soldier Boy. I, I gotta go home. What am I gonna do? Just be be in my feelings, listen to J Cole all day, every day on an island, like. But can you really do like you? Doom, doom, yeah, doom. I guess I'm going to Superman that whole. Yeah, nonstop. That's crazy. That's crazy, man. J. Cole, if you ever come across this, he's willing to give you up for Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy, you got a diehard fan right here. He will take you over the big three. You heard it here first. He doesn't give a fuck about the big three. He only cares about Soldier Boy. That's why he's wearing a white tee today. He supports He supports oversized white tees. Soldier Boy cranked that. Here's your guy. Shit. I don't know if I would do the same, man. I don't know if I would do the same. Bro, you I don't know. I don't know if I could listen you to You would not return home to your family. Nothing. Bro, crank that. It's not non-stop, like it. Non-stop. Non-stop crank that. Everything you do, crank that. Or... Or, or what? Or sit on a fucking island, Wouldn't man. Wouldn't be like hunting fish with a spear, doing like... Listening to J. Cole? Well, I wouldn't pick J. Cole, but I don't know who I would pick right now. But I wouldn't be fucking coming back listening to Soldier Boy crank that 20, 24, 24, 7, 365. There's, there's no right answer there either. That's well, you picked it. You could have said, I don't want to answer. I plead the fifth. You did not plead the fifth. <laughs> you chose, you chose Soldier Boy. And that is it. You heard it here first. Um, shorter episode, but I loved it. I love these fucking games, man. These games get me going. Like, it's it's interesting to see where we go with this. But on that note, I think episode 22, 22 is a wrap. Um, 25 is coming around the corner. We want to see what you guys have to say. Maybe you have a topic you want us to talk about, cover, not even necessarily just rap, hip hop, whatever, like anything, anything. Comment it, DM us, whatever you want to do, man. We're excited. But I think that's a wrap. Boom. We're out of here. Peace.